The good news about IVF is that the technology has improved considerably as a result of which IVF success rates have improved considerably. But this can be a mixed blessing and let me explain that to you. So there's no doubt about it that there are two advances which have increased success rates enormously. One of course is the fact that we can routinely culture embryos to day five or blastocysts in the laboratory and this is great because a day two or day three embryo does not belong in the uterus. It belongs either in the test tube or the fallopian tube. The only embryo which belongs in the uterus is a day five embryo. So that once we can grow them to day five and then put them in the uterus, the chance of that embryo implanting is better. And the good news is that in a good laboratory, using good culture media, with a good embryologist, we can easily do this. And the second big advance is what is called vitrification or flash freezing or ultra rapid freezing, which allows us to freeze embryos so that we can transfer only one embryo at a time, save the rest, and then transfer them after thawing one at a time. And in a good clinic, the success rates both of freezing embryos with the process of vitrification and warming them should actually be 100%. Both these advances have made a dramatic difference in success rates overall. The reason I said that technological advances can be a mixed blessing is because there have been some technological advances which have not increased success rates, which have only ended up increasing the profits which some IVF clinics make but they've actually been harmful. These include things like error test, endometrial receptivity, assay tests, which do not increase pregnancy rates, but they charge a lot of money for these useless tests. The second is the entire PGD or pre-implantation genetic testing or pre-implantation genetic selection or what's called embryo biopsy, which are very expensive, allow the doctor to charge a lot more money, but do not increase success rates. And therefore, you as a patient need to be careful. You need to understand that not every technological advance is helpful for you. Separate all advances into good advances which increase success rates and advances which do not increase success rates. Please don't let your doctor take you for a ride just because it's new technology. Because not every new technology improves success rates. That's the truth of the matter.